Let's look at Teams backend a couple of times before we get into the details. All right, so let's get started here with uh, the fundamentals. Uh, grip, always starting with the grip. Um, Dominic has a pretty strong Eastern backhand grip. So from a regular Eastern grip, he's sliding over to his left a little bit more. And that is why he's creating such massive topspin and then ultimately also power. However, the power is really uh, something that comes from him using his lower body, his loading so efficiently and great synchronization between what the lower body does and then what his upper body does. So we'll get into that. Um, but again, so lower hand here, bottom hand, right hand has a pretty strong Eastern grip, backhand grip. The left hand is on the throat of the racket and facilitates what we'll see in a second, the unit turn, the taken back of the upper body and also the rotation of the hip. Um, what I do like is that he's pretty compact here, racket head in the beginning and up until a very late stage in the preparation. The racket head is above the wrist. That's where you want it. So you can actually describe that uh, loop that you'll see here in a minute. Um, and Dominic has pretty big wind-ups uh, on both sides to my mind and that's why he's playing pretty deep. On this particular shot he's actually taken a few steps back. So I know there's always that myth that top players never move back, they never give ground and this is hereby proven wrong. So let's look at this here. He's actually using his inside foot to get his outside leg back and he's using one or two steps to let that ball come back down in his strike zone. So really really important here look at the function and the activity of the outside of the back leg because that is where the entire thing starts when you want to create power. As a one-hander you really really have to use the energy that you can create by loading, by really pushing into the ground um, to then use that energy that travels up your body through the kinetic chain. And you will see that in a second really beautiful, uh, really beautifully. So as we talked about before, the unit turn here, the right shoulder is being taken back. The off arm facilitates that and really helps pulling also the right hip back. That's another source of power here. So we see at the furthest here, you have the chin resting on the shoulder. The other thing that top players do really, really well is that they continue to stay balanced throughout the entire shot. So look at Dominic's head from the beginning here in the preparation phase looking forward, looking forward, and it stays completely straight and still. So you see his shoulders massively rotating, rotating. You see his hips massively rotating, but his head stays completely still. And that's just one of the trademarks of really, really good players that they're able to coordinate everything in such a way that they're just keeping that balance. So the take back here, Again, racket head is above the wrist, left hand on the throat of the racket here. And this is where we start our loading process. So you see here how he's stepping forward and all energy that was created right here with that turn, with sinking lower into his outside leg, how it's uncoiling Think about a spring that you uncoil or coil and then uncoil. It starts from the ground up and it travels through the legs, through the hips, through the core, shoulders, elbow, and then lastly hand. So when we're unwinding this here, you see that turning and then from the ground up all that energy goes right into that ball. And that is why he can hit that massive, massive top spin. And of course, also 
the power. And the number one thing that I'm seeing when I'm coaching uh, rec players or pretty high uh, college players as well, that a lot of players have the misconception that they really have to rip everything around because that's what they see. That's what we're seeing right here. And that's what we see when Stan Varenka plays us back in, or back in the day, Justina Na. There's a couple of female players that now have two hand, uh, one-handers, which I'm really excited about. Um, but what we're missing before that is that heavy work and that heavy load that's done before by using the outside leg, hips, and shoulder. So let's keep going here. You see that the racket head now drops below the wrist and it's also below the incoming ball. So that ball actually drops a little bit into his strike zone. And from now on, from you can't really quite see that because we don't have enough frames on that, but the butt cap is actually pointing to the ball. That's called the lock-in position, which signifies that the preparation phase is done. And now it's just pure acceleration with everything that he loaded before, which with every ounce of energy that he created. And beautiful contact right here, slightly above hip. We want to try to control the ball between hip and shoulder. And you see the swing path, which is dependent on the grip, is pretty steep. And now the left arm has a major role to play. So we looked at the head, but the left arm really helps to balance. You see that here, the right uh, arm continues in the extension and the left arm comes down and back as a counter movement to really help Dominic team be straight and completely balanced. And the finish here, after the contact point is away from the upper body and over the right shoulder with an extended right arm. So you don't want to have a bend here. Um, that is uh, something that I see when somebody just switched from a two-hander to a one-hander. They're so used of tucking that arm in here. So you really want to keep your hitting arm extended and you want to finish with the tip of the racket pointing to the sky. So that was Dominic Team's backhand. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe.